Welcome everybody, this is Alan with Daily Armor of God. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all doing well. In this video, I will be talking about how to start a daily Bible reading plan. And I'm going to give you a couple different methods. The main method I'm going to tell you about is the method I use. And I use an app called Uversion. Now, before I get started, I want to say I'm no way sponsored uh, by Uversion, or, nor do I work with them or am I affiliated with them in any way. Um, I believe it's the Uversion app is run by a church. I am not affiliated with the church at all. I just am giving you my honest opinion and honestly going to say it's a great app and it's what I use and I highly recommend it. So that's what this video is going to be about, how to start a daily Bible reading plan and other ways you could start. Now, there are other apps, there are other websites that have loads of resources and topics on how to start a daily Bible reading plan. So many choices, actually. Surprisingly, there's so many choices on um, how to start a daily Bible reading plan. And I've looked at a lot of them. Uh, before I even started any of my videos, before I started my reading plan. So, I know that there's a lot out there, so it can get confusing. But uh, this one in particular, it's a very great resource. So, let's get right into it. The first step is if you're on PC, and if you want to just use it on your desktop or have a website that you could just go to to uh, start your reading plan then this is method one which is go to bible.com and I'm right here on the page of bible.com type in bible.com in your browser and this is what you get now when you first get to it the option in the top right says sign in or sign up so you're going to gonna want to hit sign up obviously if you've never created an account you want an account trust me you want an account that's how it saves your progress and everything so you go here you click sign up and it brings you to this it gives you multiple ways to sign up through Facebook Google Apple or you could just type your name last name address and make your own password and just have it that way if you don't have any social media accounts and you just want to use email you have that option too now it says here if you sign up you get free reading plans and devotionals you can highlight the Bible and it will save whatever you highlight which is a really cool feature um, you can add friends and you can share with them your Bible reading plans they can see your statuses of like what you've recently read what you've recently highlighted it's really cool and then verse of the day so every day you can get a verse they sent to your email or if you have the app on your phone which we'll get to in a minute here it you get a notification on your phone and it will show you the verse of the day which is really cool um, just a cool addition to everything else that you get so when you create um, an account it'll take you back to the main page and on the main page you can click here top left well you can't see it but there's a plans uh, tab so you click the plans tab and it brings you here so discover or you click here it says my plans you can basically have as many plans going as at one time and uh, it's really cool there's so many topics anything that you're dealing with from marriage to uh, spiritual journeys uncertainty whatever you want basically these um, plans are like devotionals so to speak so you can either you can take your time and go through here and find so many and there's good ones like this one says anxiety or if you're new to faith how to study the Bible and basically these are like devotionals think of them as devotionals you get them you you start a plan and then it takes you day by day through what the plan entails and it's centered around whatever topic so there's marriage here dating work leadership prayer worship forgiveness faith I mean there's so many uh, the one thing that I suggest is up here there's a search bar just type in what you want so I'm gonna give you guys an example so I'm doing the biblical storyline of reading if you guys are interested in what the plan I'm doing I'm doing the biblical storyline which I've already typed it and it pops this up so right here it says Bible project biblical storyline reading plan 365 days so if you click that, it takes you to here. 
and here gives you the overview of what the plan is shows you the publisher it shows you how many people have completed it, it looks like over 2500 people have completed this plan and um, if, if this looks like something you want a plan it could be any plan it could it could be this plan specifically or any plan at all you just hit click start this plan and then this is what you get it shows you day by day so um, every day this is this is basically like your homework <laughs> essentially so start with the devotional then read Genesis chapters 1 2 and 3 this is the very beginning guys this is the very beginning day 1 of 365 so you watch the devotional in this case the devotional is a video um, about Genesis and then you click here if you click on Genesis 1 it takes you to Genesis 1 and it's really cool so here it is right and the cool thing is you click like let's say right here click this you can click the verses and then you see here the colors like if you like highlighting in your Bible you click the colors um, bookmark you can bookmark it or highlight it there's so many different features um, let me go back so basically it wants you to read chapters 1 2 and 3 so here's chapter 1 if you click here it goes to chapter 2 chapter 3 and so forth you can also change your um, translation if you so desire I highly recommend reading the King James Version and I'm gonna get into another I'm gonna make a video on that a little later about translations um, to just summarize it and to give you a short answer read the King James Version it may be tough for some people because of like the older language but I highly suggest you read it and I will make another video about why you should read the King James but just trust me when I say this King James Version is the version you want to read uh, but reading any version is a good step but I'm gonna get in more detail about which versions are and why reading King James is so good because it is so that is basically what you do you just go through here click here for chapter 2 Genesis 2 loads up click there I'm just gonna quickly go through it and show you and basically just pretend you're reading it see all the check marks now here's the devotional you have to you can just watch it listen to it whatever you want so um yeah after you do all that you watch the devotional and have your reading plan you see how it has a check mark here now boom there you go that's day one done and it says on track you see that it says on track there it's pretty small but so you're on track and then there's obviously lots of settings you could do customize your profile customize your reading plans um, or you could just straight up read the Bible using this website too there's so many so many tools now now that I showed you that just uh, gotten a little bit of detail there for that uh, if you guys want to use your phone I already have that loaded up for you and ready to go so example number two using the app this was the desktop uh, website using our browser I'll show you using the app now so here we are in the app store right here um, you want to type in when you go to the, the Google Play Store type in Uversion Bible app or you could just type in Uversion and this will pop up you want the one that's by life.church that is the correct app that you want it is the one by life.church so Uversion Bible app on the um, Google Play Store if you're using Android and it's basically the same thing if you're using Apple go to the Apple Store type in Uversion Bible app make sure it's by life.church and then install it I've already installed it and it tells you like what's new developer contact shows you how many downloads how many reviews as a 4.9 average rating and it deserves it it is such a good app I, I swear by it and again I'm not sponsored by a U version I'm not paid to say this it's my own personal feelings and beliefs that this is a great app great resources so anyway you install it then you click open and it takes you here and if you don't have an account it will prompt you to make an account so this is the home menu once you have an account this is the home menu again you can sign in with Google or Apple use your Google account or your Apple account to sign in 
So here you have home, Bible, plans. This is that this is on Android, by the way, that I'm on. Home, Bible, plans. So you want to tap plans, right? Tap plans. And then all these plans, again, the plans are basically like devotionals. And there's so many. And they're sorted by um, category. and Or you could just type in whatever you want. Um, so there's so many plans. I've already saved the biblical storyline plan just so I could show you guys on Android how to do it. So you can either search through here or you can type by uh, right here, discover. Then you can type in um, whatever you want. Type in biblical storyline, then you get this. And then again, it, this is the overview. It says here 365 days. You can start the plan. Um, and another cool thing is you can save plans for later. See how it says here, saved for later? So whatever, like let's say you want to read that one. You click, you go into it, click save for later, and it's in your save for later category. So you can find it easily. You don't have to keep searching for it. Um, so yeah, here it is. And I saved it for later. And um, then you just hit start plan. And it shows you here. Oh, here's the devotional. Right? And then you click next or not click but you tap tap next and then here's Genesis and again you can switch uh, your translation you can click this so this is verse 1 right in the beginning God created the heaven and earth you can click that and look at this look at how many features you have you see how it's underlined here uh, you can like whatever color you want if you want to do green yellow red whatever so just click it or tap it in this case since we're on Android um, you can also make an image check this out so click on it tap it and then you see here where it says image tap that and you can choose your own background you can basically create your own like little pictures for social media let's say click that choose image and then it says here in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth you know whatever verse you want you can put on whatever image you want then you can either download it or share it on social media. It's a really cool feature. I highly suggest you check out all the features. There's so many, so many features. So that's chapter one. Then you click next here. Oh, that reminds me. This popped up saying that you can download um, when you don't have internet. So this is the beauty of this app. So you can download the translation of the Bible on your phone and you can read it without internet connection I mean it's awesome I mean you should have your own physical Bible for when there's power outages or your Wi-Fi is down and I highly recommend a physical Bible I love physical Bible more than um, you know reading on Kindle or a tablet or a phone but I love using this app on my phone because of the plans so download I suggest you download the King James Version Bible so even if something happens to your Wi-Fi you can still read. It's very useful. So then th there we go. We can add a reminder uh, for your plans. If you hit add, basically what happens is you get to set a time that you want a notification to come on your phone reminding you, hey, read uh, today's <laughs> read today's uh, Bible reading. It gives you a reminder, hey, you got to read today. <laughs> it's just really cool. So if you forget, your phone will vibrate or ring, and it'll say, you got to read today's Bible reading plan. So, or whatever plan it is, whatever plan you, you're you subscribed to, it'll tell you, okay, read. <laughs> so that's day one done, basically. You, read, you watch the devotional, read Genesis 1, 2, and 3, and you are done. And um, like I said, you can go through here, find whatever kinds of plans you want. There's so many categories. And um, discover, this is where you go to, to type in whatever you want. Um, or you can just go to the Bible just by itself and read without a plan. You don't have to have a plan to read the Bible. And then go back home here. Um, so... <laughs> It's really cool. Right now, they're almost at 500 million installs. Can you believe that? This app has almost 500 million installs. That's pretty cool. So they're that's what they're celebrating right now, is 
the new version is close to reaching 500 million installs because the Bible is alive and active. So now is a great time, you guys, to download this app. And it's just my personal opinion. This is a great app. It has great tools, great features. It is it's priceless, really. Um, best of all, there's no ads. I mean, there's no ads at all. Nothing like pops up and interrupts your reading. Nothing. It is totally free. No ads. It's amazing. So, I mean, get this app. And this is a great way to start your Bible reading plan. Now, I showed you two different ways that you can start a Bible reading plan using this U version, specifically using U version. But if you guys don't like the idea of using an app, which I suggest you do because it keeps track of the, the plans for you and there's so many great resources and tools. But if you just want to do your own thing, what I suggest is to just read the Bible cover to cover and start with the Old Testament into the New Testament. I, I recommend not skipping around the Bible. Do not skip around because you'll get lost, you'll get confused, and it's just a pain in the butt. So just start with Genesis, read all the way to the Revelation, cover to cover. I suggest reading about three to five chapters a day. And what I like to do, me personally, and I've said this in their videos, read one Psalms and one verse or one chapter of Proverbs a day. So one chapter of Psalms, one chapter of Proverbs every day, despite whatever plan you're doing, you should read one Psalms and one chapter a day of Proverbs. Excuse me. Once one chapter of Psalms, one chapter of Proverbs every day. It's uh, trust me, it's worth it. It's always good to constantly be feeding your spirit, your soul, um, the wisdom of Proverbs and the wisdom of Psalms. So no matter what you're doing, even if you're in Psalms and Proverbs during your reading plan, I still what I do is I as I read a Proverbs in according to what day it is. So if it's the fifth day of the month. I'll read, I'll read Proverbs chapter 5 and Psalms chapter 5. If it's the 27th day of the month, I'll read Proverbs 27. And then along with my normal reading um, and so forth. And so the cool thing about Proverbs is there's 31. So that lines up with, you know, if there's 30 days in that particular month, you can just read one extra. You can read the 31st, 30th, and 31st. Proverbs. If there's 29, then you just read 29, 30, and 31. And so it's, it lines up really good. And now with Psalms, since there's a lot of Psalms, what you do is after this, let's say there's 31 days in the month, after you read Psalms 31, then as the new month starts, just keep going 32, 33, 34, 35, and so forth. So. You just have to give yourself a little reminder which chapter. I, what I do is I use a bookmark, a bookmark that has the books of the Bible in it. It's a really cool bookmark. And I just put that in my Psalms and whatever chapter I'm on. So that way I can keep track. With uh, Proverbs, it's a whole lot easier to keep track because you just look at what day it is. Oh, it's the, it's the fifth day? Oh, okay. I'll just read Proverbs 5. Anyway, my point is you should always be reading uh, one Proverbs and one Psalms every day, along with your normal reading. So I've given you three different examples, actually. If you just want to do your own thing, read about three to five chapters a day, cover to cover, and don't skip around, is my suggestion. And I'm going to give you guys some tips, no matter what you decide to do. If you decide to read uh, the Bible and do the daily Bible reading plan using the browser, um, or if you're going to use the app, no matter what you do, Pray first. Pray first before you start reading. Ask God for understanding and discernment. Another tip is to read at a good pace. Don't read too fast. Um, I'm not going to say don't read too slow because I don't think it's possible to read too slow because it's good to take your time and read slowly sometimes to get a better understanding. Sometimes reread. Sometimes I have to reread uh, something to get a better understanding. So go at a good pace. Get comfy. Um, you know, some people like to read in bed, some people like to read on a couch or at their desk. Get comfy. No matter what it is you like, make sure you yourself are comfy in a quiet place and possibly with some relaxing music on. Like me personally, I love to have background music uh, while I read. 
it helps me relax. I really love classical music going while I'm reading or just like um, non-vocal music like what's going on right now in the background. It just helps me concentrate, just me personally. I know some people who can't stand music and just want complete silence and that's fine. So point is get comfy. My next tip is like I already said is don't skip around. Stick with your Bible reading plan. If you fall behind, let's say you're using the app and you're like one day behind, you miss a day, uh, don't freak out about it. Don't be like, oh shoot, and then just get discouraged. Don't get discouraged. Just pick up where you left off and it will keep track of where you left off. That's the awesome thing about the app. Uh, and just start where you left off. If you feel compelled to read a couple days to get caught up, read a couple days. There's no harm in reading two days worth or three days worth of Bible reading plan. Um, but just don't get discouraged no matter what. That's another tip. No matter what's going on, if you miss a day of reading or if you fall off the bandwagon and miss a whole week, don't get discouraged. Just get back to it. Pick yourself up. Start reading again. You can do it. If I can do it, you guys can do it. Trust me when I say that. So um, I highly suggest you guys check out this app. I know I've gone a little long on this video. Sorry about that, but I just want to get in detail about how to start a daily Bible reading plan. I highly suggest this app, the Version app of the Bible. It has so many great tools. Just get the app and just mess around with it. Like um, That's how you learn is you know just by going, going through all the different options and exploring. The app has so many features. It's, it's invaluable. It seriously is. And as you can see, it has almost 500 million installs. That tells you something, and it has such great reviews. Um, I'm, I'm not saying it's perfect, because nothing in this world is perfect, but it is a great resource. I highly recommend it, and um, I just I highly recommend reading. If you don't want to get the app, or if you don't like this particular app, it's okay. Just start reading. Get a physical Bible, or if you have Kindle or something, you have the Bible in there. There's loads of free Bible apps out there. But if you have your own physical Bible, that's what I suggest you read. Get comfy, get in your comfy clothes, get in your comfy place, get into a quiet place, and just read. And remember, pray about it. And my final tip to you guys is to pray after you're done reading. Ask the Lord that he'll speak to you through the reading. Ask the Lord that he will help you to remember the important things. So remember, pray before and pray after. So... Thank you guys so much for watching and listening. If you have any more questions, let me know down in the comments. If you want to see a particular type of video, let me know. I'm open to suggestions, and um, I hope this has been a great help for you. Uh, like I said, any more questions, let me know. I will try to answer any and all questions you guys may have. But thank you so much for watching and listening. I hope you guys have a good evening, morning, night, wherever you're at. And as always, TTFN. Ta-ta for now. Take care. God bless. Remember... Put God first in everything you do. Have faith in Him. Have trust in Him. And you'll never be sorry. Good luck with your, with your Bible reading plan. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye.